And the point I was trying to make to Toby was that this toast was coming at the end of two days of policy talks, and maybe at dinner we could lighten it up. Sam, I've got calm on an hour. Should I sit quietly? Yeah, because I really need to study this. No problem. Thanks. A sandwich. Good, Sam. I'm having trouble deciding between the ham and cheese and the chicken salad. Well, this might help you. The chicken salad's mine. Yeah, but in this kind of environment, it's basically community food, right? You're not afraid of being seen with me right now? Because of the way you're dressed. No, no. Why? What's wrong with the way I'm dressed? Oh, my God. No, because of my night job, Sam. You're not afraid of being seen with me? No. Okay. Your night job's crummy. Yes, I know. So you got a thing tonight? A date? A client? Yeah. Yeah. Who? Sam. Oh, I thought we had a deal. Yes. Thank you. Where's he taking you? I don't know. Okay. No, I really don't know, Sam. He calls me, he tells me what to wear, and the rest of it's a big surprise. Is this Sam, someone who you... I have class in an hour, and I have not even finished... Oh, for God's sakes, it's Gideon V. Wainwright, 372 U.S. 335. You cite the president, you cite Black's opinion for the majority. Thank you for that display of geek bravado, but I'd like to learn this myself so I can graduate from law school, practice law, and give up my night job. And I'd like you to learn from my experience when I tell you that law school bears little relationship to the practice of law. It bears some relationship to graduating, though, right? Yes. And shut up. I'm just saying, your night job stinks. Fine. And I'm taking your sandwich. Fine. Wow. Our reputations precede us. Yeah, they ought to. You three do fine work. Excuse me, gentlemen. So how long are you in town for, Mr. Everett? Just for the night. Let me introduce my date. Brittany. This is Brittany. Brittany, this is... Hello. Josh Hello. Norman. Uh, Hi. Hi. Sam Seaborn. It's nice to meet you. But we're gonna head on over, but maybe I'll get a chance to talk with you all later. Great. Good. Thanks. Thanks. Have a good time. Thank you. Okay. Sam. Carl. Brittany. Have you got just a minute? Sure. Sure. Can I cut to the last page? Sure. I think you're someone that I could have a relationship with. You wouldn't have a relationship with me. What do you think? I cost 500 an hour. The private sector. I build out at $500 an hour. I don't understand. Would you like some of my food? Oh, there's Todd. Excuse me. Todd. I didn't know. What were you thinking? I didn't know where he was taking me. I told you I didn't know where he was taking me. He just tells you what to wear. That's right. That's great. You know, I'm sorry, Sam, but this isn't exactly your business. I'm not here because of you. I'm just here because I'm here. I would be here whether you were here or not. You're just some guy who happens to know me. Thank you. I didn't... You know what I mean. No. Could you keep talking about being here and not being here until blood starts pouring out of my ears? Sam. This is Bartlett. Good evening. Are you enjoying yourself? Yes. Sam? Yes. Wouldn't you like to introduce me to your friend? Okay. Mrs. Bartlett, I'm Brittany Rollins. <laughs> Abigail Bartlett. It's an honor to meet you, ma'am. Oh, aren't you sweet? I'm sorry to interrupt you. Actually, I was looking for the president. He had to step out to the West Wing. Uh, I'm not sure why, but I could I go. do pistol whip the trucking industry. Uh, wh why would he? Because he can't save a gunshot victim and he can't stop a hurricane. You are thoroughly charming. Well, thank you. Excuse me. Yes, ma'am. I'm just going to eat, if that's okay. Sam. I'll give you $10,000 not to call him with that guy tonight. Such a broad inflationary surge would wreak havoc on the economic policies that have allowed the United States to enjoy